Chef Randy Feltus. <laughs> chef Matt, Matt, Matt Our two chefs. You guys are kind of cute now. Let's try our best. Look at this guy. A lot of people, they think Valentine's Day. I have to have a partner. It's got to be all romantic. But it can be a family event or a family occasion. You can include <laughs> yes. the kids in yes. there. You, and you we're have actually, to. If you have to. <laughs> we're going to have stories, actually, about how you can make it a little bit more family-oriented. And also, you're going to tell us about some of your most romantic moments, including yes. the kids. It's yes. sort of like a family situation. Yep. But first, we're going to start with one of the all-time most amazing things uh, about Valentine's Day, and that is breakfast in bed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yes. breakfast in bed is always a good idea, whether you are making it for your kids or the kids are making it for you or you're making it for that special somebody in your life. So um, please tell you us about this recipe. On? I love you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is the title. I love you, baby. Cheeseburger breakfast. What a oh, title. Yes. What a title. I love you, baby. <laughs> Anybody can throw out an eggs benedict. Anyone can make some yeah. scrambled eggs, a little bit of toast, but if you really, really love that special someone, you make her a cheeseburger for yes, breakfast. Yes, you do. Right? <laughs> or, yes, you do. Take it from Massimo and I, if you make us a cheeseburger for breakfast, <laughs> we'll love you back. No, You're that's right. Right. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so we're going to do a little twist, but what, I want to talk about cheeseburgers, number one. And I do understand that this is going to be a little bit lighter because we're making it a little smaller, but I think everyone messes up the cheeseburger. Okay. And How I think do we mess there's a up? few simple rules. It should be done in this cast iron pan. It yeah. should be done super simple. We've got some fresh ground beef okay. here. You can still see it just came out of the package. Massimo's going to ball it up into like a two ounce ball maybe. Now? Give me okay. some balls, Massimo. No Give me some balls. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take it. <laughs> Give him some balls. <laughs> oh, okay. There we We start with the balls. We'll flatten it out a bit. There you go. Okay. Perfect. Want it? Right in the middle. And it right goes in the, the pan dry. There you go. So what happens is the fat in the ground beef starts searing out. This is medium ground beef. We didn't use the really lean stuff because okay. we want that breakfast kind of like you juiciness want a going bit of on. Fat. And then check this out. Oh, what yeah. is going on? I like right. it. You're smoking it up. See? So that's how you do it. Is that this how we're, is we're it? messing it up? Okay, you've got the right pan there. Yes. You've done the right amount, uh, like the right size. You've flattened it nice and gently. Yep. What else do we have to do? A little bit of seasoning? Not a little bit. You want to go really, really, really quite heavy on the salt and the pepper because that's basically all that's going to go in. Got it. You're going to let you got a second one? I got a second Don't one. Don't threaten me with a good time. Put it all in right. there. There we go. <laughs> all right. Chase, I'll let you season that one down. You got it. And then over on my side, you can make up some pancakes. It's really quite simple. A little there bit of go. eggs, flour, everything else. All-purpose uh, rising is great. What are we going? Right here, medium, and we're going to use a little nub of butter. Just a little nub. Oh, right. I do you want it? <coughs> it should be okay. Just enough to melt the butter. Now, okay. here's a trick. Ronald McDonald would be really proud of this one. Instead <laughs> of putting the sesame seeds in after and they sink in, put them first. And then we got the pancake batter. Make it nice and round. Don't you worry, it'll all work out. So what you didn't mention to everybody is that the bread is going to be pancakes. Well, we got to we got to make it a little that's bit breakfasty, cool. right? So we got pancakes going on with a sesame seed bun. Last one, you want to give me two yep. more of those? Sure. Now, in order to translate that gap, because let's be honest, it is a cheeseburger and it is breakfast. Yeah. We're gonna go a little bit of yogurt. My wife's favorite thing okay. in the world to start off is a little bit of yogurt. And you can buy these, these little petite pots, which are kind of like cute, those. ready to go, and they're like 3.5, which is nice. Yeah. At home, we've got homemade granola. So this is just something that Sarah put together, and it's got hemp seeds, and it's That's got a little bit of... You want me to put some of that in there? Put that in there. Homemade yeah. granola. Homemade granola, you I know? I know. It sits I mean, on the countertop. you can go to the store and buy it, And it's too. there, but, Still you know, it's kind of pleasant and nice. Now, she's probably waking up right now going, where's my granola? <laughs> 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 you know, it's being featured on City Lines. It's We're on all City good. Line. <laughs> and then, Trace, if you could, just top it off with two little berries. Just two? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe four. Okay. Now, maybe a little more. We're coming to the point of the show, which I call cheeseburger heaven. Okay. Mm -mm. And what you want to take a look at is you see this? It's kind of all caramelized around the outside. Yeah. What we want to do, and the reason why we're using the cast iron pan is it should stick a little bit. You want to get your. Hold on to it. You ready for this? You ready? Here we go. Flipper. Oh, baby. Oh, oh perfection. My stars. That's, crispy. That's what you want. Mm -hmm. You want that crispy. Oh, and crispiness. now you put the cheese on put there. The cheese on there. What do you want for with cheddar? Little cheddar. Okay. Right? We'll flip Good this cheddar. Off. Obviously, yeah. you pick what you pick the cheese your uh, your significant other loves. I like cheddar. Here we go. Ready, Massimo? How are my little uh, pancakes doing? Almost. Nice. You ready for these? Yeah, we are here. I can yeah. imagine now, this being a bit of a family event, though, getting the kids to help out with a little bit of pancakes. I imagine that the kids would like pancakes. 
the kids for would breakfast. Like pancakes. They wouldn't have a problem with that. Yeah. And in all honesty, we're cooking this in real time, so it's only taking a few minutes to actually yes. put together, right? Not so you long get at your all. espresso going, you get your uh, you know, a little bit of cream going, a little bit of stuff on the side. Put the and coffee then on. if you want to make it extra, extra special. Yeah. You know, because this is Valentine's Day. You just get a little chalkboard or something. Aww. And here's a little reminder to my wife, you know, that's a, a little thing about when we got our crap together and decided to be adults and actually start going, that's the date. That's the date? <laughs> that's the date. In so, Roman numerals? In Roman numerals. Too so bad now, I can't read Roman numerals. Was it back <laughs> you in... You can't uh, read it? When, when was it? Yeah, that's... So that is uh, 2007, 12. December 23rd. You know the date? Well, that's why it's on there. Can we please <laughs> applaud Randy? You know, so, the, you know the date To me, it really oh, at this point on. in time, it really doesn't matter how good the cheeseburger is because no. I did that. Because you have the date. But yeah. then you give her this cheeseburger, and it's like, take care. You know, when you're yelling <laughs> at me next time, you just go cheeseburger breakfast, <laughs> and you won. 